I'm going to start with the cards by cutting all of my pieces from the thin cuts using a cuddle bug just to get all of that cut out. And I used watercolor paper here because I'm going to stamp and paint each of those images. So now I'm just stamping in archival black ink so that I can watercolor over those. And on one of the cards, I'm making a background for that just to feel like a sky. So just a nice, easy blue wash. Then going through and painting the details on this bird. I like to use a few different colors of paint so that you can get some detail and some variety. And then just doing a really light wash over that banner so that you can have some color there as well. Now this is a fun technique because I'm just going to go ahead and make my own grass pattern. So I'm just using really light pressure and the tip of that paintbrush to create some really organic grass strokes. Now assembling the card by putting all of the papers together using zip strips to help bring in another pattern to the page and then some foam tape on the back of that cute little bird piece and of course adding some of the fun puffies and some staples to finish that off. Now on this card we're going to start with the cute frog image so I'm going to stamp that again in black stays on ink so I can watercolor over that without the ink smearing. And just choosing your sentiment and you can kind of arch that sentiment so that it fits into the arch of the banner piece. And again, just creating a little backdrop. I love that about watercolors that you can just make your own scene. And so I'm painting some sky and then I'll go in and grab some grass as well just so that my frog feels grounded on that little piece for the front of the card. So now we'll go in and paint some details on this fun little frog. Again, mixing the greens so that I get just the shade I want and so that I can blend out areas so that you have some areas with shadow and some areas with really light color. Just helps give some dimension to that little image. I'm just putting a really, really light green onto that banner make it stand off just a little bit but that the frog stays and rosing up his cheek cheeks with a little bit of pink. Then I'm going to dovetail the end of this these two pieces of B&T so that they can go onto the card as a little detail. This is a top folding card so you can just here your B&Ts, layer up these banner pieces, cut off any excess and then start assembling. I'm going to use 3D foam tape to make that background pop off just a little bit. And then here my sentiment and the frog image to the center of that background. Now adding some of the puffies staples of course to finish that off and it's an adorable card for Easter. Now we'll do the fox image. So again using the black stays on ink, stamping that image. The thin cuts and the stamps really allow for ease of putting these together and cutting them out perfectly every time. Now for this one I'm just going to put just a little bit of a pink background to make it match the paper that's in the kit as well as to give it just a little bit of pop and then splattering some paint to add just some details there. So it's a fun technique and then coloring in the fox with some of the burnt orange color and again just letting those watercolors work in different ways by using different colors and letting the paint be thinner in some areas and more intense in others will just really help bring your stamping to life. Adding some yellow and orange mix together just to lighten up that banner piece down at the bottom. And he's ready to go. So now we'll start assembling the card. It's a side fold card. 
and I'm just going to add the yellow BNT, lining up that purple strip, and then using some of that washi tape to add another texture to it and to get a little thin strip. I love that it's a little bit sheer so you can see the stripes coming through that washi tape. And now adhering my background and adding some foam tape to the back of the fox so that he pops off our card just a little bit. And again, rounding it out with some of the fun puffies. It really adds some little detail to the card, some staples, and there you have it. We'll do this Easter card that uses the cute bunny from this stamp set. So again, it's black archival ink. You can use any of the permanent inks for this. And then putting the sentiment right into his banner that says Happy Easter. I love this stamp set because it has so much versatility with the sayings you can use. So this one we're making really Easter because of that sentiment, but it also has thank yous and all kinds of really generic, fun, easy to use stamps. So just gave myself just a little bit of a blue background and that's more to create a shadow on this bunny so that when he's placed on the card, it looks like there's some dimension behind him. And then using gray just to color him in. Again, using more intense color on the edges just to get some of that shadow give him a little more detail and we'll use some yellow to color his banner and of course we've got to rosy up his cheeks a little bit use some pink there and in his ears now to assemble the card it's a top folding card and so I'm just going to start adhering all of my BNTs One's a zip strip is where we found that yellow wood grain pattern. And mixing the BNT with the washi tape. So now this washi tape is acting more as the grass for this bunny to stand in, which is another fun detail you can add. And using some more zip strip pattern just off the side of that piece to give another pop of pattern on this card. Then we'll use some 3D foam tape to make our bunny pop off the front of the card. And add some more puffies and a few staples. And this card is complete.